Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Roy here at the Clayman Thyroid Center at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery. Here's another edition of Reuters Goiters, and today we're talking about an asymptomatic substernal goiter. So we have a gentleman here that went to the emergency room for what he thought was a broken rib. He had a chest x-ray done that showed a vague mass in his chest. This then prompted him to get a CAT scan of his neck and his chest where he was found to have a huge substernal goiter that went into his chest on the right side. So he had no symptoms, he had no bulge in his neck, he had no difficulty swallowing, he had no voice changes, he had no trouble breathing, yet he had this large mass on the right side of his neck extending into his chest. So let me show you in the operating room that he actually really did have no mass in his neck and you can see what it looks like for yourself. Okay, so here we are in the operating room with this patient. You can see you actually cannot see anything bulging out of his neck at all. I'll show you later in the CAT scan how significant his goiter is on one side. Today I'm gonna to be making an incision right above his collarbone here and I'll show you his specimen later. So now you saw the, what his neck looked like in the operating room, but let me show you how significant his mass really was in the chest. So here you can see that this is his mass. This is his chest here. And if you follow this mass on the right side, this is his windpipe. His windpipe should be completely in the middle of his neck, but you can see it's pushing his windpipe all the way over to the other side. So if we follow this down, you can see it's pushing it all the way down and we're significantly in the chest here. And you follow that down and so these are the lungs and the, the mass is ending at the top portion of his lungs there. So I removed his thyroid with a lower incision in his neck that I showed you in the operating room. And you can see now this is his specimen here. You can see how large it is in real life. So essentially this portion started in his neck and this whole thing was down into his chest. So what's interesting about this case? What's interesting about this case is that it's an asymptomatic substernal goiter. So why is it asymptomatic? It's, in, it's asymptomatic because he didn't have a bulge in his neck, he didn't have difficulty swallowing, breathing, or have any voice changes. So that's very, that's very typical. Um, so what makes this an asymptomatic goiter, or why did this occur? So this occurred because his substernal goiter was really just on one side of his neck. So it was just on the right side of his neck. So although it was causing deviation of the trachea or movement of the trachea over the other side, his other side was normal, so it was not causing any compression. So he wasn't experiencing any symptoms. The other thing is that it didn't bulge out of his neck because it was actually growing back deep into his neck and down into his chest. So he couldn't see it, so he had no idea. So the treatment for this patient, which is super beneficial, is that I did not have to take out his whole thyroid gland. I actually just did a right thyroid lobectomy, which you saw here in the specimen, and I was able to save the left side of his thyroid gland, which was completely normal, and now he will not need to take any thyroid hormone replacement pill. So this was super beneficial for him. He was able to leave the hospital the same day, and he's doing fantastic. So if you have a substernal goiter, please contact us at thyroidcancer.com.